The name of the topic is Removed and Return, and this is a chapter in the life of the Judeans when they lost the kingdom and went to the Babylonian exile. It is a very important part of Israel's history because many nations suffered destruction, many nations suffered exile, which led to their demise. In the case of the Judeans and then the Israelites, that was a totally different story. But back then, when things happened, there was no guarantee, the way people saw that, that they're going to be restored, that this is going to be end with a national repentance. It was a challenging time, a time that helped to crystallize the nation and bring them back from the exile as a one body of people, which are more fortified in the faith, which are very strong in the national identity. And therefore, when the exile started, it looked like a national disaster. Indeed, it was. But it was also a time of repentance and a time of reflection. And therefore, in the life of the Judeans, losing the kingdom and losing the basically the national independence was not that bad altogether, as time will prove. And therefore, the lecture will speak about their removal from Jerusalem and Judea, what was the life they lived during the Babylonian exile, and how it affected and changed everything on a personal level, on a national level, until King Cyrus comes to the scene and gives a declaration that will bring the people back to Judea and back to Jerusalem to start all over again. Now, in most cases, scholars are combining the days of the bondage in Egypt, in Babylon, I'm sorry, with the days of Ezra and Nehemiah, and that should be a chronological mistake. Because Ezra and Nehemiah only came to the scene about 70 years after Cyrus gave his declaration. And these 70 years we don't have much information about. However, the book of Ezra and the book of Nehemiah speak about the proclamation of Cyrus, although it happened about 70 years earlier. And therefore we are going to use them as sources, but not speaking about these two individuals that were leaders of the nation. But that will happen only 70 years later. And therefore, the lecture should be divided to two main topics. Number one, destruction of Jerusalem, destruction of Judea, and exile. What were the conditions during the Babylonian exile? And what were the terms of returning? And then we need to bridge somehow a gap of 70 years with almost no sources, and then bring in the days of Ezra and Nehemiah. That's what we're not going to do in this lecture. This lecture will be limited to the destruction of Judea, and what happened in Babylon, because indeed, people went to exile like Judeans and came back like Jews, and many people, many scholars do believe that the Jewish faith was born, in a way, during the Babylonian exile. It was a time to bring the Bible to conclusion, so to speak. Most of the Old Testament books were edited during that period in Babylon, and a nation that suffered a terrible devastation is coming back much stronger to start all over again in the land of promise in Judea and Jerusalem.